Starburst came to Arizona Animal Welfare League from one of our rural rescue partners. She came with four of her siblings at about three months of age. Starburst was the thinnest of her four siblings, so we held her back from adoption so she could gain some weight. We noticed that she started vomiting, so we did some testing for Parvo, which came back negative. We did some radiographs and noticed that she had a vascular ring anomaly. A vascular ring anomaly is a congenital defect where a vessel from the heart goes around the esophagus and causes a stricture so that when a human or a puppy or a kitten tries to eat anything solid, it gets stuck at that little stricture area. When they're regurgitating all the time or vomiting all the time, it can go down their trachea or their windpipe and into their lungs and cause a pneumonia, which can be fatal. So it's a very involved surgery because you have to go through the rib cage, through her thoracic cavity, and then through the little sack that goes around her heart and cut this vessel that is there. Keep in mind too that this is all being done while the heart's beating. So it is a very expensive surgery as it should be. My name is Brie Kuna and I'm currently involved with AWL as a foster. So after her surgery I was made aware that they needed someone to help her with her recovery. So I came down and met Starburst, had her uh, get a little bit of her backstory and brought her home and she was a really really great fit for us in the time that we had her. So Starburst's personality was a really bubbly and curious. She's really playful too and she didn't really ever seem too bothered by having to stay on crate rest for as long as she was. We had her on crate rest for about two and a half almost three weeks so when she was able to finally have that freedom they just played and played and played for so long. And Starburst finally got cleared for adoption. It was, I thought it'd be a great way to expose her to potential adopters by bringing her here to the shelter during one of their big playgroup days so she can be out and hang out with other shelter dogs. But when I came by later to pick her up, there was a couple in the lobby. We got to talking about Starburst and they absolutely fell in love with her. The biggest thing was that when we walked in, she kind of perked up and noticed that we were there, but she didn't start barking at us. She seemed like she was seeing someone that she knew rather than like a stranger walking into her space. And we were just like immediately, it just felt like she was like a dog we already knew. And so it just felt very natural. We decided to call her Storm because when you look into her eyes, it's like lightning. Storm was previously Starburst, uh, was the most perfect that we could have ever imagined. She's great with our cats. She's become best friends with one of our cats. She's definitely an outdoors dog. She's been to the beach. She goes uh, camping in Flagstaff. She's hiked Sedona. It's it's unbelievable. Um, just the number of people that got her to where she is now and just so many people that didn't give up on her. Many shelters, this wouldn't be an option. It would, it, a puppy like her would likely be euthanized because it's just about funding and we are so blessed and so fortunate to have the Medical Miracle Fund that we can do this and save her life and cure her. AWL gets requests on a regular basis for animals and other shelters and rescues that need specialty services. Without the help of the community and providing donations for our Medical Miracle Fund, we wouldn't be able to help those animals. Without the Medical Miracle Fund, dogs like Starburst and so many others wouldn't have the chance that they deserve to live an amazing full life. A shelter uh, would see a health condition like hers and maybe sometimes write it off as it's in unfixable, but AAWL and Brie saw that she could have a happy life and that she could have a fulfilling life. We are so beyond thankful that they did because she is living a perfectly healthy life.